<laughs> but uh, now I know that there's already customers using this product, so Jim, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely, Eric. We actually do have already some early successes in characterization labs. ST Ericsson is a, is a leader in semiconductors for mobile devices like cell phones and tablets. They embraced the PXI platform a while ago. Most recently, they've actually started making use of our 5665 analyzer. To help you understand ST Ericsson a little bit better and their use of the 5665, I'd like to welcome Sylvain Bertrand from ST Ericsson yeah. Grenoble to the stage. Hey. All right, man, stop. So, bonjour. Welcome, Sylvain. And uh, tell us a little bit about ST Ericsson. Yeah, ST Ericsson is a global company with more than $2 billion revenue, with an an industry-leading roadmap covering a broad range of mobile platforms for smartphones and tablets. The Novasor platform, for example, is the first solution to offer dual-core technology, high performance, low power, in a low-cost way for smartphones and tablets. Now you Car can go ahead. Uh, characterization of yeah. Novasor is uh, very challenging because complex uh, requirement in the test, long test time, and demanding measurement performance. Yeah, I was going to say everyone can appreciate all the things we want in our phone that makes this guy's life kind of difficult. So um, tell us about the RF measurements you have to do on this. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, we have more than nine radio communication standards to manage on this type of platform, including uh, FM, Bluetooth, wireless LAN, GPS, uh, GSM, Edge, wideband, CDMA, and LTE. Um, our analyzer and generator um, need to cover all of these standards. Yeah, yeah, sure. Excellent, excellent. Can you show us how you're using the 5665 in your system? Uh, well, um, remember the last time I was in Austin when your team uh, demoed your uh, new PXI 5665? Yeah. I was extremely pleased to see an NIRF product finally met my strict requirements. For example, our analyzer needs to be able to measure an ACP at least at minus 80 dBc, and the noise floor has to be under minus 165 dBc by Hertz. Yeah, now I think you even stopped an order, right, after that demo? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to tell that part. Uh, <laughs> when we learn about the 5665 performance, uh, we were able to replace our lab instrument device with your peak size solution. And in fact, you're right, we can sell an order for one of these expenses box and order two peak size chassis instead with your uh, 5665. Now to give, yeah, that's right. So to give credit where credit is due, that was Rajat that actually did the demo. So be careful. Apparently, his <laughs> demos are irresistible. Um, so you also use some other PXI products in the lab. Yeah, the number of devices you have to manage inside the, this type of platform involve a lot of digital bus protocol. And again, box can be complex and expensive to set up. We have defined an internal user solution to manage a set of standard or custom digital bus protocol based on Flexio FPGA technology. Okay. Uh, yes, you can see a standard I.O. adapter off on the shelf, and also a custom adapter to manage uh, DGRF baseband access. Very good. Perhaps you could show us your test system here, Sylvain? Yeah. Um, here you have the Flexio board to manage dual control and your uh, 5665 to acquire RF signal coming from this uh, system on chip, which is a CMOS 65 transceiver multimode, is transmitting wideband CDMA signal using QPSK modulation in your spectrum analyzer. We are achieving here a minus 65 uh, dBc for uh, the ACP measurement. It's quite good for uh, QPSK modulation. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us about the bottom line. What kind of results did you achieve with the new system? Yeah, for the test bench where we, we replaced uh, lab box with peak size solution, we saw about uh, 10 times improvement in test time. Not only that, the peak size solution was three times less expensive than the box instruments that we were using before. Wow. 
That's pretty, that's pretty fantastic. So, so I, you know, I know this is a big impact to your organization, so congratulations on the outstanding results, and thanks for sharing with everyone here at NI Week. Thank and you, thanks, Jen and Roger.